Hello there and welcome to another edition of the Ask Dr. Jack show. <laughs> I am Dr. Jack B. That's chiropractor in Omaha. Not here to give medical advice, just trying to give you great information you can easily pull off the internet yourself. Uh, and I'm Aaliyah, Dr. Jack's assistant. And together we make up the Dr. Jack show 2.0. Today our topic is... Uh, my favorite fruit of all time, the avocado. That's right. Yes, it is a fruit. These little babies, they are so delicious and they are absolutely amazing. Uh, when it, it comes to nutrition and everything like that. So we wanted to devote an entire newsletter about this because there's a lot of people that are scared of them. Yeah, people tend to shy away from them because they are high in fat, but it's a good fat. It's fat that you want. It's right. Body. It's not, yeah, this is, just because something has fat doesn't mean it's a bad fat. Yeah. And if you're grain free, eating a higher fat diet kind of helps to fill you up a little bit. Avocados are very filling. That is, but. yes, yes. Uh, little... Pizza trivia here. The avocado actually eating it dates back to 10,000 BC where they found these in some caves in Mexico. So yeah, the Mexicans had kind of the, they, they it wasn't just something they adopted later on. They, they were the ones that kind of brought this fruit to life and whatever. Um, so there's a lot of amazing things about this fruit. One of the great health benefits of it is all the B vitamins it has. Vitamins B1, B2, B3, B6, and B9, and B5. There's a lot of B vitamins. There are a lot of B vitamins. Do you, remember, do you know the names of all of them? I used to. I, Niacin, I, riboflavin, thiamine, those are the ones. That's one, two, three. I think folic acid is uh, number nine. Uh, panathenic acid is B5. And that's six. why he's the doctor. Anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, so be, beyond the B vitamins, uh, we've got uh, the vitamins C, E, and K, which are very important for healthy bodies and healthy living and everything like that. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, um, a great source of calcium, magnesium, iron, phosphorus, sodium, and zinc as well. That's right. Uh, so... One of the things that people don't know necessarily about avocados is how good they are for your eyes. Um, the nutrients in the avocado actually help you uptake uh, this thing called lutein, which is important for eyesight and macular degeneration and all that other stuff. And so it's, it's an amazingly awesome thing for your eyes. Um, and they're a heart healthy food. They um, are. Great source of fiber. Yeah. And uh, so just so that you know, if you go to the store, because there, because of this uh, newsletter, there's going to be a ru mad rush on all of the Omaha stores for avocados. You may get to the store and uh, see the word avocado and pick one up. Well, that doesn't mean it's ready for uh, eating because just like bananas, avocados ripen after they've been picked and it takes one to two weeks for them to really become ripe. Um, you're used to deciding whether a banana is ripe based on the color of the skin and you know how firm it is. I mean, you can tell that. Same thing with the avocado. Um, you want a darker green, like for instance, the ones that Aaliyah brought with her to work. Uh, this is a really good color for your avocado to be when it's ready to be eaten. Um, sometimes they might be a little lighter green when you get to the store. So that's not a bad thing. Just take it home, set it on the counter, and let and it ripen up. And a brown paper bag is actually the best way to ripen them. There you go. Yeah. And maybe take some and put them in a bag and some leave on the counter so they ripen at different stages if you buy a bunch of them. Because we're going to give you a challenge here. Because the avocado is so flipping amazingly healthy for you. It really is. We want you guys to try and eat one, two, three avocados a week. Um, for a couple of weeks and see if you notice some differences. Yeah, and actually, I'm going to bump that up. I want to say three to four. Uh, oh. Because really, an avocado every other day would be absolutely amazing for your health. Um, they're, they're just so amazingly nutritious and really awesome. And quite frankly, so much better than a banana. I mean, bananas have so much sugar in them. Bananas are very high in sugar. You know, yes. and avocados, not quite as easy to eat as bananas. I mean, I'd be perfectly honest here. I mean, they are not really super easy to eat, um, but they are so much healthier and you can, I like to slice them up and have them with eggs. Yeah. They're a really versatile fruit too. I mean, you can have them on salads, eggs, um, guacamole, on sandwiches. 
even though we don't want you eating bread. Yes, um, <laughs> you can put it right between a couple pieces of lettuce and make your own yes. sandwich. Um, guacamole, you can make lots of different dips with it um, and sauces and things like that. Yeah. I mean, it's just really, my seven-year-old just eats them out of the shell with a spoon. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I mean, they, they really are. So anyway, so there's your challenge. Three to four a week, a couple weeks, I will bet you can almost tell the difference. I bet a big place you'll feel the difference is in your skin and hair and nails because um, avocado oil is really good for your body um, as far as... That stuff goes. Yeah. Yeah. So... Anyway, that's it for this episode of the Ask Dr. Jack Show. We want to thank you very much. Share this with people that might be interested in, in healthy foods, healthy eating, uh, or just health in general. And comment below. Comment below. Yeah, we love the comments. <laughs> we will try to answer everything that comes commented to this. Um, have yourself a very happy, healthy day and stay, stay healthy, healthy Omaha. Omaha.